Hi, I'm Scott Hansman, and it's Azure Friday. I'm here talking with Pranav Rastogi about Azure Web Jobs, advanced techniques, yep. notifications. Perfect. Let's talk about them. Yes. <laughs> so, what the notifications uh, sort of scenario builds upon is like, you know, if you remember in Kudu, uh, when you try to publish a site using Kudu to Azure websites, there's like a deployment step where you can uh, customize what happens after deployment. Mm -hmm. Or you can customize what happens after a successful source code deployment. You know, you, you have a notification system where you can hook up and say, you know, each time a successful site gets deployed, uh, I want to do something, maybe send an email or maybe trigger a build. Are these web hooks? Is that what that's called? They, they were web hooks, yes. Uh, so web jobs also has a similar notion where you know you can have different events in the system. So whenever a triggered job completes or whenever a job shuts down, uh, there are points, there are events in the system where you can hook onto and then do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you sort of two kinds of these areas where what happens when a triggered job completes and what happens when a continuous job sort of shuts down and see how we can uh, sort of customize uh, the behavior. <clears throat> so on this page, what I'm showing you is sort of all the APIs that are available for web jobs and all these are basically <coughs> endpoints where you can hit and get some more information about the particular web job. You know, what so these are REST APIs? These are REST APIs. Now, I would call these as a developer from the command line? You could if you wanted to. For example, a, a great example of this is, so we just looked at the, the dashboards and the monitoring experience. So if I click any sort of web job, behind the scenes is using the same REST APIs that I just showed you to get information about the particular web job, its invocation details, whether it was a success or a failure, what was the console log output and anything around so it. So your dashboard uses the REST APIs yes. to get this information? Yes. <clears throat> and so one particular uh, instance where I would like to show you this notification is what happens when a triggered job completes. Mm -hmm. And so you can extend it to be whatever you know uh, suits your scenario. So what I've done is I've sort of, sort of quite intelligently used this service called Zapier. Mm. And Zapier is a system, you know, uh, something similar to IFTT which is if this, then that system. So if an event happens, then do this. It's a big web workflow system. It's a big web yeah, workflow yeah. system. David, uh, David Ebo came on the show, and we texted ourselves when a deployment happened. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so in this example, what I've set up the system to be is like, you know, I've given my Azure credentials. It knows my Azure website. And I've said, whenever a new trigger job uh, completes, mm. call me, and then I can customize what the message is going to be. So here I'm going to say, greetings, this is the web job name, mm -hmm. which I'm going to get from the same REST API that I showed you. So it's a parameter into It's a parameter into this message. So here's a job name completed with this status. It took this much amount of time uh, for this job to run. Hmm. <coughs> and so I've, made, I've basically activated this zap. <laughs> and I'm going to go back to my uh, sort of dashboard, and I'm going to execute this batch file. And this batch file just does a console.write line, hello world. And I'm going to say run once. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I might want to do this for, uh, you know, large batches. Like if I go and convert a bunch of, you know, PNGs into PDFs, and I'm right. going to leave for the day. Like two hours, you're gone. Call me when it's done. Call me when it's done. Nice. Basically. So in this case, I just executed this, uh, you know, batch file. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Just prints hello, and then I get this call. Let's you want to listen to this? Yeah, yeah, do it. Okay, <clears throat> I'll put it on speaker. Greetings. Batch file has completed with status success and took midnight point one five eight eight zero zero zero. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. But yeah, so you know you can hook up various systems. You can hook up Twilio to send messages. As you said, like two hours after this, my job completes. Just let me know if it you know, was a success or not. So you have sort of this capability. The next capability is something that we are sort of calling is around a graceful shutdown. Mm -hmm. So this is sort of geared around, you know, like we have two kinds of uh, web jobs. We have a job which can run as a continuous mode, which means it's always running. You know, as soon as a new message comes on a queue on a blob, or it's going to you know, sort of trigger the web job for me. And in a lot of these cases, there could be a case where the, this continuous job might get recycled. So for example, if I scale my site, it, my, my site might go up and down. Mm -hmm. Or if my job is sitting idle, uh, IS might try to recycle it. That doesn't happen if you have always on sort of set and if you're running in standard mode. Mm -hmm. So we have this feature called graceful shutdown where you know, if a continuous job sort of uh, goes down and recycles, 
we drop in the marker file which your app or your job can listen to for any sort of notifications on it. Mm. And so let me show you a basic notification system that I've built on this particular uh, job itself. So this is just a you know hello world job. I'm reading this environment setting called web jobs shutdown file. This is basically what is the disk path where this marker file is going to get dropped by the Azure Websites environment whenever a continuous job gets recycled. Is there information in that file or is it just a marker? Is it literally a zero byte file? No, this is just the location of the file. Okay. And there's... Uh, but is there anything in it? Uh, nothing useful actually. <laughs> uh, think about it. No, it's just a marker. Okay. And so I've just written a file watcher where I'm listening on this file and each time a file gets changed, I know that my web job is getting restarted. Right. And so in that case, you know, I have a configurable amount of time and by default it's five seconds and you can configure it to do something so that my app has a graceful or my web job has a graceful shutdown. Mm. Uh, so in this case, you know, I'm listening for this particular notification on the file and each time that file gets changed, which means my web job is getting restarted, I just uh, <coughs> sort of output this line called so stop. it's getting restarted. They're warning you or it's been restarted? They're warning you. So they, they're, they're basically saying, we're, you're, you're going down, yes. we've changed this file, so they write to the start to the shut, and you have five seconds to get your act together. Right, or whatever you can configure that time span to be whatever you want it to be. How often do web jobs get restarted? I mean, how, how, how important is it to be shut down gracefully? Uh, As opposed to just being smacked in the head and then you just your app is gone. Uh, for the most cases, like let's say if you're dealing with queues and stuff, uh, and if you're using the SDK, like the queue message will go back into the system and the next time the job starts, it'll pick hmm. up the function. So it's not like that critical, but uh, if you have a reason where, you know, you have a critical, critical task where you want to finish it before the job, sort of the process shuts down, then you have a way to do it, uh, basically is what it boils down to. Uh, <coughs> So, you know, if I show you this job in the management portal, uh, I'm going to just, <coughs> this is the shutdown continuous job, which is mm -hmm. monitoring on that file. Uh, pending restart. So it's a pending restart. So I'm going to stop it and I'm going to start it. So this is the act of I'm stopping a job and I'm starting it again. So it says, no, I can't stop that job. Oh. Is that because he's working so hard? That is... Try again. Try again. See, it's good when these things happen because <laughs> now the customer will learn what to do if this happens. Yes. <laughs> so you wrote it. What's happening? So what's probably happening is, uh, so the first, my logic where I'm checking for the marker file, mm -hmm. the first time there's no marker file basically. And mm. while my job starts up, it looks for the marker file. So that's why the process probably gets crashed again. Uh, I see. <coughs> So in your logic, you probably should, if it doesn't exist, make it. If not, I'll check. Oh, and here's the great example. And we can actually go and look at that and see. Right. And so here's basically, you know, what would have happened is uh, this uh, status would have said stop, which is the act of a web job getting recycled. And this is you writing out? This is me writing it. Okay, out. so this is not web jobs announcing that. That's your debug. This is my debug uh, sort of job, which is listening for that file marker and saying that, oh, I sort of located this file, that means my job is going to go down in five seconds. So mm -hmm. let me do something meaningful in my application. What might be an example of that? I mean, I think of like closing database connections, finishing up processing that I need to be doing, flushing Flushing, fl I think, yeah, those probably are like good examples of where you want to sort of gracefully end your application before you want to do something uh, next. <coughs> um, so, you know, these are two sort of two ways where you can have some sort of notifications uh, as part of your Azure web jobs is whenever any triggered job finishes, you can have sort of send yourself a notification that this job is complete, or you can sort of start handling uh, graceful shutdowns for both your continuous job and for your uh, triggered jobs as well. And then you can customize what the location of the file is or like how long uh, you want to give Azure websites before it sort of restarts. Uh, so you've sites. got internal notifications, how long till I am going to die. Yes. And then external notifications where you can actually let the user know I'm things done. are finished. Yes, it's cool. Very cool. <clears throat> it's Advanced Web Jobs on Azure Friday.